Hi guys, it's Max from HighOnAndroid.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, I finally got Android 11 running on my Galaxy S9. This is my fifth day of quarantine. I was trying to figure out how to install this on Samsung devices. I figured it out. Let's go and take a look. Uh. Hi guys, so this is Android 11. Uh, everything works out of the box. You'll see Android 11. Let's actually go ahead and see the uh the the thing android 11 boom shakalaka baby this is based on hassan pierre hughes a build of android 11 basically the same as the official android 11 gsi but he's making mods and patches so it works better with all android devices now this runs really fast on your galaxy s9 uh one of the first things i did was run benchmark I'm getting a benchmark score on Geekbench 5, a score of 699. You can go ahead and run on your Galaxy S9 if you have an Exynos version and compare it with mine. But this number is actually, actually very similar to a Galaxy S9, which has a faster processor, uh, especially the single cores and integers. Um, you actually end up with a faster performance on the Galaxy S9. So. Android 11 really brings performance and along with very good battery life. I've been testing this for almost a day and battery seems to not drain at all. So it really strips out all that Samsung stuff and allow you to run it full Google Android. Now, if you do this, you're going to lose all your Samsung stuff, all your Samsung One UI stuff, Samsung Pay, you know, anything that relies on Samsung's firmware, you're going to lose. But the good thing is that Samsung's probably not going to update the Galaxy S9 to Android 11. Well, I've got it running here already and it runs nearly flawless. Now, I couldn't get the Google camera to working flawless, uh, but the default AOSP camera works. Google camera, you can get uh, video working fine. But I'm still trying to figure out how to get uh, the photos working. That shouldn't be a problem. We just need to figure it out. Another problem I'm having is installing Majisk because this particular version comes with super user and <laughs> it's just really hard to install Majisk because Majisk is not compatible with the GSI built by Hassan Pierre Hughes. All right, this is a pretty usable ROM. I mean, he says don't use it as a daily driver, but I've been daily driving it. Everything works. Calls work really well. Uh, data works, Bluetooth works. You can see I'm picking up LTE signals. I made a few calls already. Uh, it's working fine. By the way, I'm roaming on T-Mobile. Uh, it is really fast, but one thing I noticed, it's just way faster than Samsung. Just because you don't have, you don't have that extra layer of, you know, one UI from Samsung, which really slows everything down. Also, battery life is really good. So this is what you can expect. I don't actually recommend it as a daily driver yet. I would wait till there's some customization come out, uh, maybe with some ROMs like Havagram or AICP, uh, CR Droid, blah, blah, blah. All right, but I'm really loving it. I'm, I'm amazed that everything works. Now the brightness works also great. For auto brightness, there's a hack you can do to get uh, auto brightness working. Hassan's GSI also features stuff like um, enable extended brightness range. So you can get the full brightness range of a Samsung and you can enable the stock stereo audio mode. That's really nice. And the greatest thing is that you're going to be able to install this on any Samsung phone with an unlocked bootloader, right? which means any Exynos, Galaxy S9, S10, S20, uh, Note 20. Now, Note 10, right now you can't because you need to have Twerp recovery to install this ROM on a Samsung phone. So we'll have to wait for a Twerp for a Note 10 series. But other than that, all the newer phones that have Twerp on your Samsung, you're going to be able to install a uh, straight up Google Android and just make your phone way faster with much better battery life. All right. Again, you're going to lose everything with Samsung, but you know, on a Galaxy S9, Samsung's never going to update it beyond Android 10 anyways. So this is a good time to switch and you're going to be able to keep upgrading to Android 12, Android 13 and so on. Thanks to the GSI. Now, if you guys don't know what GSI is, I made a whole video about it i'll put in the description here or i'll put a card up here you can check that out also so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and install it on my galaxy s10 later uh, i don't have a galaxy s20 exynos but the instructions are pretty much the same and basically you just need to unlock bootloader install twerp and install the files in the correct order and the right files all right it just took me a long time to figure out because no one's actually telling you how to do it uh especially with the android 10 roms android 11 roms but I figured it out and I'm ready to share with you guys. So I'm going to make that tutorial now. I'm really excited. Now you can go ahead and turn all of your Samsung phones into a straight up Google phone. 
and run pure Google instead of relying on Samsung to update your firmware, which, you know, takes forever. <laughs> By the time Android 12 comes out, you'll get Android 11 on Galaxy S10, maybe. All right, Galaxy S9, this is a great time to upgrade also. Uh, again, you'll be able to install it for all the newer Samsungs from Galaxy 9 and on. Galaxy S8 and before, um, you don't have Project Treble support, so you won't be able to install GSI ROMs. But so long as you have Galaxy S9 and up, newer phones, you will be just fine. If you have a Snapdragon models of US models, then you're out of luck because you have a locked bootloader. If that's the case, just grab the Exynos model next time if you want to do stuff like this to your Samsung phone and you'll be able to keep upgrading even after Samsung stops updating. But yeah, I'm going to go work on the tutorial. Hit the thumbs up. Again, this is my fifth day of quarantine. I'm also trying to build my own GSIs, so that's coming soon, which I want to get rid of the super user and install Magisk, so I'll have a custom version of GSI um, that you can install Magisk also. So that's another thing I'm working on. But have a great day, and as always, stay on Handwave.